Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about how to yeah, get the text on the ring. Okay, so, okay, Nomads Cult. So, something here like this here. It's only an example. So, I start here and clear the scene. For the ring, we need a primitive object. And an important part here is, here you see a checkbox for the UVs. So activate this checkbox to, to get a, a default UV for the primitive shape. Um, okay, so then press lathe object. We need a lathe object. And I here reset the view that um, we are here, perspective, turn it off, and then work here like this. And so we have to adjust the curve here. So I turn the wireframe on, and I'm locking here the view. So then we can zoom and pan here. So when I turn on the, the grid, and you see here an option for grid snapping. Okay, so like this. So I snap here. And for the lace, we have an a option uh, or a closed lathe. So where is it? Um, yeah, here closed. So So maybe like this here. And here we can change the divisions. So we need more divisions and, and make sure that the, the, the grid is a square here or the wire. So we need more divisions. We can change here also the, the other division. Yeah, this is okay. So I lock the view again. something here like this okay it looks like a ring okay so, and then you see here when you press here the inspect button, you see here a square canvas. And you see here the grid. I think we have to adjust it a little bit. So, so maybe, maybe. 
maybe like this here. Yeah, let's test this setting here. You see it's square um, wire and now we are fine. Okay. Yeah, it could work. The next thing is you need the text. So you need here the text on a square canvas and black and white. So this is pure black and white. And this is uh, the texture you need for this uh, ring UV map. And here I turn now the wireframe off. And here you can place textures on this ring. And here's the opacity slot. And this opacity slot makes it possible to reproject a mask. So press here and select the text. So now you see here the text somewhere on the, on the ring. And now press here the, on the settings and now it's possible uh, to change here the, um, the parameters and so on. So here you have a repeating option. So we have none, none, so we don't repeat the whole thing. And here's the scaling and the, the, the transform. So let's bring the, the text in a position we want and then change the, the scaling here. So it's a, it's a little bit of a game to find the position here. And the right size So like this maybe. So you can control here. You have to play a little bit with it to find the right position. So so maybe this is the right position. And here for the scaling so you can squeeze it a little bit and try here with the repeating if you... Um, so this was the wrong repeating. So here again then it repeats a second time. So And here you see here it's 1.8. Uh, uh, you need to change it to 2. So then it's exactly two times wrapped around the, the ring. So maybe let's test this here. So I validate here the, the object. And now we need a much higher poly count. So when I turn on here the wire, you see here the grid is uh, too low. So when we project here the, the mask here, it doesn't work. So let's use multi-resolution and subdivide the mesh one, two times. So you see here now 500,000, we subdivide it up to 3 million. This could be okay. The higher the poly count, the clearer the text becomes. And so now it's possible in the MISC menu here to use the reproject option here. So reproject opacity to mask. So I press here from itself and this texture here we don't need anymore. So we can delete it. So now you see here we have our mask on the ring 
And here with the mask settings, we can um, sharpen the mask and we can invert the mask. So like this. And then use the gizmo. So maybe we add a layer uh, to have more control over the whole thing and then with with a gizmo tool it's possible to yeah bring the text inside or outside so I go a step back and turn the wireframe off and then I'm using here um, the x-ray mode to see what happens. So now I turn it off. So it looks nice. So now I can clear the mask. So this is what we get. <coughs> okay, and now I'm using the round all brush and I'm smoothing the whole thing. I go a step back and I'm changing the intensity. Yeah. So I try now to to decimate the whole thing, so I turn the wireframe on and I press decimate. So let's give it a color. Yeah. I don't know if uh, <laughs> um, when the letters are in the wrong direction, so I don't know. Um, so this is the way you get the text on the ring, like this here. Not perfect, um, but the poly count. So now we have uh, 145,000. Um, yeah, maybe it's okay. But text is a real high poly count thing on such a ring. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.